Chris Nashville Rocker de Mella here. Um, it's my 2015 uh, pedal board, which I'm really liking um, with these effects. So I'm going to go over the signal chain and how I route it. And first we have my guitar going into the input of the CAE buffer splitter. Then I have two outputs of the buffer splitter. One out goes to the RC booster in, and the other out to a tuner. Then I have the out of the RC booster, which goes into the in of the SP exotic compressor. Then I have the out of the exotic compressor, which goes into the in of this XTS boost. And I use that boost a lot for heavy rock, heavy metal, new metal. Then I have the out of the boost, which goes into the XTS precision multi drive input. And then I have the output of the multi drive, which goes to the input of a TS-808 uh, OD, Keeley modded. Then I have the out going into the in of the Analog Man juicer, compressor. And then I have the out of the compressor going into the input of the amp. And so that's the front of the amp. Now for the effects loop, I have the pitch factor inputs going into a tap whirl output. And then I have the pitch factor return going to, or the outputs of the uh, pitch factor going into the return of my amp uh, loop. Then I have the tap whirl in going to my Strymon output timeline delay. Then I have my Strymon input going into my time factor delay. And then the time factor delay input going to my T Rex. Uh, delay which I use um, basically as a boost I have uh, everything turned down and it gets a nice warm uh, dark tone uh, out of the amp and then I have the T-Rex send going into my amp uh, well in the T-Rex input going into my amps uh, send so that is the signal chain, and uh, then I have this XTS uh, custom modded uh, battery box, and this battery box powers um, all my OD pedals, which is the uh, XTS multi overdrive and the uh, tube screamer, or any other uh, OD pedals that I uh, swap in and out. So that's. Uh, the 2015 uh, pedal board and uh, for me it uh, does everything that I needed to do so until next time thanks for watching